Well, this is more the English garden. So this is the ice side? This is just this little river that flows through it. I think up ahead they surf it somehow. This is Olympic Park. Just had some time to kill. Took a, a taxi. 72 Olympics were held. There's the uh, BMW headquarters. Kind of neat. We just went up in that tall tower that I showed. It's 200 meters we're up. Here's just kind of a view of... stadiums. <coughs> yeah, we're looking down on that BMW tower. That's how high up we are. Huh. Here's a better viewing with uh, the open air platform. Kind of you don't have the bars in front of you. <laughs> Decided to buy some uh, nuts. Just nuts. <laughs> Kind of a specialty here. We've seen a few different ones. But you gotta take off the, the shell because I tried to eat the shell too. Like, they gotta chuckle. So. I mean, maybe you could dip them in butter ah, or something. Terrible. <laughs> terrible. I, They're I, not terrible. They don't have a lot of taste. But I believe last time you said Crapsville. I'm gonna put them right here in case somebody wants. Just kind of the thoroughfare of uh, Marion Platts where we just were lots of places to eat outside type stuff. This is day two on, on day six. Just wandering around now. It's got that carnival atmosphere in parts of it. Scratch that last one, we were already in it. Just having trouble remembering where we all right, it's a little after three. This is the pollinator uh, tent. This is from the uh, balcony. And we have heard this song many times, Dad. What are they saying? And everybody clinks glasses. is well on its way. Yeah. On the YouTube videos, this is called Puke Hill, where people see a lot of people laying here, not feeling well. Not for us. But it is right next to uh, another another brewery. This one actually has a lot of outdoor seating, which is kind of neat. It's uh, like 440, and they're, they're, that's a line to get into this tent. Luckily, we had a gentleman that sat here and we chit chatted, and he said uh, that this was a popular music tent, that's how they fill up. And at 440, man, they're not letting in. You gotta go to the bathroom, they're like, nah, you're not coming in. So the ladies, Quick took off, and uh, we're gonna try and find a bathroom, and then they're gonna try and find another spot for us. Okay, we're going to tell the mustard story, we're trying to recap our adventures. Glenda, go ahead and tell us about the mustard croc story. Yeah, so we're having a delicious meal in Munich, Germany, at the August Theater uh, Town Hall. Uh, uh, restaurant and they brought me a lovely crock of mustard to slather on my food and I used it you know and I didn't double dip because I didn't want to double dip for my friends here and so but I would put it on my bread that I had handled and held thank you thank you Clay this is beer <laughs> Probably what, crack. this big? Not this big. Yeah. With a crack lid and a spoon. It's going to slather it on my bread, take a bite. Clay and I also had yeah. a little, we spread it on our bra. Spread, yeah, you, you spread it on your bra. And spread a little more on my you bread. spread it on your what? <laughs> <laughs> and I'd stick the spoon back in and put the crack lid on. And so a woman came up to the table, a waitress, if you will, and took the crack and I washed her. 
We all watched her like. She took that crack of mustard with the spoon from my bread, set it on another table. Yes. Indeed. Just to recap, set it on another table. <laughs> I had held the bread, the spoon, Corona out the window. She shared the crack of mustard. <laughs> <laughs> I think Gwenda, the film was on me now. She took that spoon and ran. Nah, 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 nah. I did not. <laughs> Put it back not. in I the crop. I'm like, my God. <laughs> I did not do that to the crack of mustard. <laughs> but seriously, we were like, wow, we all. She took that crack of mustard. <laughs> she seriously took that crack of mustard. The four of us watched her walk around the corner. Set it on a table. We're like, oh, people could have like licked that spoon. <laughs> like, what he said? It's nine, nine. Knit, no, honey, that's that how knit. 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 No, knit. not knit. Complete. <laughs> it's knit. N I C H T. I don't care how you say it. Come to Germany, they put a crack of mustard on your table. It might be used. Be very careful, my friends. <laughs> they finally got their cooking necklaces, which is a very big thing here in Germany. Very nice. Yeah, I mean, we have a town in Michigan called Frankenmoose. Which copies in South Africa, Germany. And they claim they have the world's largest Christmas tree. And everything is like um, German themed. So, like, when we were on our way down to Bavaria, it looks like Frankenstein. But really, Frankenstein looks like Bavaria. It's funny, my, my father, who speaks German, is always like, well, I speak like, is there like a high and a low German? Oh, is that true? Oh, yeah. Maybe from America. Why are the high, yeah. why are the high Germans? Or, I mean, the speech? Or yeah. What? The speech? Yeah. yeah. Yes. He speaks low German? I'm not sure, but he always said, we're like, oh, German is German. He thinks he's a, he's a different like, German. He's not going to be able to understand him because he speaks a different, like, low German, I think. Now, there are a lot, a lot of dialects in Germany. Okay. okay. And uh, in the north of Germany, uh, where I play, I actually come from, they, yeah. they, they have the, of course, the best German. It's bad. Yeah, the best. because what's there is North Germany. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I think this is the German you, you have in the newspaper or, or in, in literature. I know. And in Bavaria, on uh, and every, well, from, from the middle of Germany to the south, they have uh, a lot of dialects. And of, Okay, and, the middle and, uh, to the south, okay. And um, if, if you yeah, they come from a countryside, I won't understand them. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, but, uh, of course, they understand me. Okay. Okay, that's very interesting. But uh, in school, everywhere, they try to, to teach in, in high German, like, like the, the, the Germans in north of Germany speak. And they don't they don't teach in in dialects, but in uh, in, uh, in the we call it in the written in, in the written uh, speech. Okay. Interesting. So it's not like an accent; it's more like a different. Yeah. I guess I think it's like you know, with America, like you have the South and you have the North, and the South yeah. has, has like a. Like a slang, and they, yeah. they sound a little different, but it's still the same language. Well, it's the same language as well here. Okay. But they, but they have uh, sometimes they have a, a different grammatic or, or different words, of course, and, and they speak the words in different ways. Yeah. So there, yes. are, there are a lot of differences. Okay. But you can understand that. Uh, if they if they come from a really countryside, from, from a very small village, I think it's hard for me to understand them. Okay. Because they have so many different words and so many different ways to to speak a special word. Uh, it's nearly uh, it's nearly like uh, different vocabularies. Oh. So sometimes it's it's not oh. easy, not as hard to understand. So maybe it would be hard. Yeah. I think it's the same in Texas and in North America, isn't it? <laughs>
They do have that different dialect, like I say, fish. They, they different have more accent. Of like, you know, you I can still understand though. I can still understand. Well, in the past, like if you go to like Louisiana, like that state is very Cajun. Sometimes I think we would have a hard time understanding somebody from that area. But for the most part, you can catch most words. I think so. Maybe it's the same thing. Yeah. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah. And the olive oil where you were to the at the uh, for the. Where have you been today at, at, um, at Füssen? You were, you were in Füssen today. Where were we today, honey? <laughs> where, where the, where the, we were the castle where yesterday. The castle oh, yes, yes. This is Allgäu. Yes. And this can, it could be somebody says, well, why are you like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> so you don't understand any word. But that, there's a meaning yes, of that. Yes, you get that. Whoa, yes. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes, <laughs> yes. But if, if there's a, someone else of Algoy, he, underst he understands everything. <laughs> yes, your dad would understand all of that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As I said, he, yeah, he, he, if he could have been here, he would have been I wish I knew some words that he would say so that I could be like, okay, dad, you're speaking low or high. But yeah. I don't. Because he's low German, right? I, I don't know. Can we text your mother and ask her? Well, maybe when Gwen gets back, we'll do a, a summer. Where are your grandparents grand, uh, are from? Well, they're, you know, from, you know, Michigan, but his grandparents are from, I'm not sure where they, well, I was telling them that. Where's Westphalia up here? Is there a Westphalia? Westphalia is more than the north. I think Westphalia is in the north. Have you ever heard of that? Westphalia is Germany. There's a Westphalia in Germany that our town was named after 1869, or was it before the Civil War? I don't, I don't know. There's a Westphalia in Germany oh, somewhere. Yeah, it's more in the north. I'm not sure it's pronounced like that. It's not pronounced like that. <laughs> Westphalia? I, I don't know. But interesting. Gefällt mir diese. Auf Fall auf. Ich weiß nicht, wie die jungen Bedienungen gehen. Total. Das ist Hofbra Haus. Es ist no room anywhere. Es ist pretty much a cluster. Wir gehen nach Hause. <laughs> There's crazy people here. I just seen Gwen and jumping from the camera. Uh, it's too much for us, but probably six, seven thousand people just in here. Um, too much for us. We're getting some t-shirts and uh, we're walking back tomorrow's Innsbruck. This is uh, Buster uh, Hans. What's that? Hair Buster? Hair Buster, the wager. He is. He loves America. He's having fun with us. Having fun with him. Yes. Very good, Hair Buster. Yeah. What was that? He looks like Nick Kramer. Another fellow German. He does look like Nick Kramer. So. <laughs> I got the video, but you are useless. Alright. He got video, he can do still. Why and I were just like, you know, discussing. You got a damn rose in a picture with Nick Kramer. Give it give it a rest. <laughs> yeah, you just posted it on me. The four of us are sharing one beer. <laughs> say it, say Han hair busta. Hair busta. Hair busta. Yes. That's what Gwen called the waiter. Hell basta. Yeah. And I got I... blessed, didn't I? <laughs> Later Oktoberfest. We had a good time.